What's up people, my name is Dinesh Sanyi and today we are watching VFX artists react to Bollywood Bad and Great CGI number 2. Now I have already seen number 1 and all the reactions they do on the on VFX and Sunman reacts. I, I just love it. They give like a detailed in-depth review of like how things are done in Hollywood industry or like in Bollywood industry. So you like learn a lot of things from this. So I'm, I'm very too excited for this. Let's just jump into it. 1, 2, 3, go. Oh! I am still having trouble wrapping my head around this. Oh. I've not seen the movie though. <laughs> Dude, he's just chilling so hard. We just discovered a hidden secret visual effect shot. What? Hey, what's up? Welcome to another what's episode. Up? What's up? What's up, right? Oh, oh, shit. What, the? what happened to the couch? Where's Clint? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you know, like little anime, a little Bollywood style. Eh? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another wonderful episode of Visual Effects Artists React. This time we are back. The sound effects. With Bollywood, Tollywood, Jollywood. There's a million <laughs> names for it. We're calling it Bollywood because it sums it up nicely. I'm very excited for this Bollywood episode because, I mean, honestly, I I truly love Bollywood. I love the, the passion behind it all. When Bollywood is good, it's like just any American blockbuster, but on like total steroids. It's crazy. <laughs> like over the top influence to it. And when it's bad, it's kind of like a really awesome high production quality, like Tim and Eric movie. Either way it goes, I love it. Let's move, I have not seen this movie. Dude, I love how they kill this guy. They're like, let's crank this bar up so high. Oh my God. <laughs> you did it. No. Somehow got more velocity to like grab the handlebars. <laughs> yeah, it's Pepsi. Commercial? Yeah, it's basically a Pepsi commercial. Some hardcore product placement. So how did they do it? They just did it for real, I guess, probably. This looks like the most classic Bollywood type of effect. Wire removal. Wire, Wire removal. removal. That's an intense shot. So how do they? So how do they? Oh do that yeah, good shot point. Then? So if it's on Looking wires, down at it. the wires would be, I guess they'd have to like hide it between the wires, the camera. You know? he, he might be on some sort of like hip thing. He looks like he's on a hip thing. You can even see it in his shirt a little bit. It looks like he's not that high off the ground. And also the ramp disappeared and the <laughs> thing disappeared. Everything disappeared, yeah, basically. And maybe that bar is CG. The bar is probably CG because the wires would have clipped it. Yeah. Yeah. And also, there's like no definition in that bar. So yeah, it's, it's like a black it's solid. Just a <laughs> <laughs> red solid. Uh, yeah. Color blind. Oh, how are you, a VFX artist? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard, you know. <laughs> Wait a second! All the signs are fake. Yeah. Every single sign. They are. Is yeah. Fake. <laughs> VFX is probably the visual effects house that Magic worked on this movie. Magic motion. So this movie is about a guy who's got like mythological ancestry and powers, which is why he's basically a superhero in the modern day. So when he's not doing sweet jumps, he's fighting bad guys. Yes, basically. Oh, he's got what the, the fuck? ancient swordsman in him. <laughs> no, oh, no, what? oh man, what look how giddy he is so to shop this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who's this? <gasps> who's this? His portly buddy. Oh, you can pull off! <laughs> oh, dude, yes! Oh, Whoa. man, they actually Whoa. did that. That was, a, that was a sweet stunt there. My first reaction was like, oh, it's miniatures. And then, like, what? Wait, what? It doesn't look like miniatures. No, it's like an actual set with a green screen. It looks legit. I mean, it could be, it, it certainly could be a miniature. I think they just did it. It looks well, legit, yeah, it looks legit. I think legit. they just took a thing like that and threw it on a ramp and just like freaking well, slingshot at it. Well, look at the, the way the helicopter this? actually moves after it's being hit. It flexes in a way a miniature can't flex. And then that fire coming out of it, like. I love the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers, like. <laughs> 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 Look, look how tiny the jump is in that angle. That was a tiny jump. Apparently. Oh, what? The <laughs> heck? Yeah, that's real. That's that's all real, one hundred percent. So they're manually rotoscoping that fire. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my God, there's so many errors. Look at the mask, and then look at the feather on the right side too. Oh shit. <laughs> 
Oh, uh oh. What's the plan? Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, yeah, Dude did. that hot dog freaking like. <laughs> 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 Once again, it's just the impact CG is the transition point. He's actually holding on. And you'll see right around there. See, click. Yeah. yeah In motion, you don't see that little glitch. Overall, other than the fact that the, the CG arm <laughs> looks kind of like hot the dog, blood dog. You know, the actual execution of doing that shot is really good. Yeah. Agreed, agreed. Oh, and also notice how he's actually specifically turning so that his arm that just got chopped is away from camera. Had he rotated the other way, you'd have to use effects to track in a stump. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, it'd be a lot harder to paint out the arm too, because it's yeah. going to be oh, coming. Absolutely. It's easy to paint out an arm this, but, but the, once it's over your body, if you paint it out, now suddenly the you, blood have blood arm size is gap. you have to now fill in with custom elements. Speaking of arm-sized gaps, I actually got a clip for you guys to watch. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. What the fuck? Oh. Zero. Again, not a movie I have watched. I've seen trailers for it. What? <laughs> Oh. oh! Oh! I can tell you right now, I know this actor, and he's a normal sized guy. So <laughs> this, this is a movie about a little person who is very well off, and they're trying to find themselves. He's actually 5'7, and in the movie, he's 4'8. <laughs> Yes, no, so really good the effects in this, this movie, movie are so flawless, it hurts my brain. <laughs> it's a full-on camera move. Like, a, it was tracking backwards and also panning to the right. Yeah. Is this like Lord of the Rings stuff? Or there's just... No. Because it's, it's, it's easy enough to do a camera move and have, you know, regular-sized people and small-sized people. They did that in Lord of the Rings. We broke that down in a previous <laughs> episode. But they're holding hands here. That's what's blowing my mind. I am very confused. But, it, doesn't it? Doesn't this hurt your head, dude? Like, it does. Let me, they let me did it release a, so every shot uh, in this movie VFX, which had this actor whatever. shrunken down to four eight. Yeah. They had to shoot five takes this, this and one take, and they pieced everything together in post. When we did Boston Dynamics, that was probably like a five, six, maybe seven step process. This is a twenty eight step process to get yeah, this guy. Uh, Red Chili's released a VFX breakdown, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. I think they will talk about it too, so I'm excited, okay. To look like a real person. So the first take that they did was just the actors mm -hmm. walking See? together this with one. the floor removed. All of their sets were kind of like Legos, so all the floors could be moved around and, and, and taken out. So he's sunken down, and he's holding oh. hands. They're holding hands, they're both in the shot, oh. but they're still holding hands. So the hand holding is real. The hand yeah. holding is real. <laughs> oh, okay. The next take they do, that actor on the right doing his motion with no people in the background, no extras, holding his hand out without the main actor. The next take is a clean plate, no extras, just, just the background. Then they do another take, extras only. And then the final take is the main actor holding uh, an invisible hand. It's just him, no extras, walking down, holding his hand out. Because speaking of arm sized gap, <laughs> when you're painting something out and you have a hand sized hole that you need to replace, you need that information. So. The actor by himself is the information that, that you would need to shrink him down and fill in the gaps with. Oh, wow. that, that, that doesn't make sense though. Like what, but how is he, like, it's not just him being shorter, he's like scaled. Like, yeah, no, exactly. He's smaller and thinner, so what so take I, are they using for that? Oh. I think they're using all the takes and different pieces of it, so it's like they're able to merge different parts of each take together. Yes. That's what it seems like to me. This oh, has yeah. to be a motion control system, right? Yes. They had some pretty intense uh, technology to shoot this movie. Because if that was the case, then that crazy camera move they do at the end isn't all that crazy. Because yeah. it's repeatable. So, so I guess that the body double is like the reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Okay. The very next shot after this, where it's just like kind of a medium shot on both of them. They still that's... shrink him. They still shrink him. <laughs> like his shoulders aren't as wide. Yeah. His shoulders... Yeah. There's less distance between his shoulders. See, so, that's the thing. If it was just lower, it would look janky. Yeah, it would, exactly. He is I, I see what you're saying. Like, oh. this is some tricky compositing. Yo, you guys, <laughs> you guys really want to see something nuts? <laughs> look at this. Dude, that hurts my head. Like, she's interacting with him. I s am still having trouble wrapping my head around this. I, I see the elements here, but I, I, I can't tell how they're piecing them together still. How do they look so naturally <laughs> locked and synced together? I don't know. If you guys have any insight, on some zero visual effects besides the one behind the scenes video on the internet, please leave a comment below. Let us know how this is done. We gotta crack the case on this one, man. This one is intense. <laughs> it is, though. How many ads? 
a lot of guys. I'm what are you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> when they come for you. Oh, watch out, we're good though. Holy shit. We got this guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's just chilling so hard. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Track, look at that janky track. Yeah. <laughs> he just oh went just like straight like this. Edge, like the edge map above, center on the yeah. side. Had to the shunt. They're all superheroes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, two BBs? Oh, explosion bombs. Yo, fire BBs. Oh, I got a car coming at me. <laughs> oh shit! I'm just gonna stop it. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> like, <laughs> Alright, so this is Ambala 2015. Umbala. One of my favorite Bollywood action scenes here. Let's go back to that deep jump. <laughs> this one actually, for once, looked like it wasn't done in the original shot. Oh, dude, so this is like Photoshop. Yes, yeah, yeah. nephew Photoshop effects. <laughs> because the perspective doesn't change oh, as that, it goes yeah. from frame right to frame left. But they did know. put a reflection on the van. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, I was about to say wire work for this stuff, but now I'm watching it and it's like, oh, wow. But the, it, like, it very, because the oh, very oh, next shot, that, the very you, next shot is oh. the wire work stuff. Okay, that's definitely a, so at least a wire shot because the perspective of the car is changing. Yeah, yeah. Wire I feel bad for the stunt man <laughs> on the Jeep in that shot. Look at that impact, he's just like, Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> and the snapshot freeze frames are honestly the best part about this, and I can tell you how they did them. So they took the camera from three different angles, <laughs> and the, the onset still photographer was mm. like, "All right, photo shoot time." <laughs> Dude, those matrix bullets. Those actual, <laughs> wait, never been touched by a human hand, like perfectly, perfectly pristine. So this is probably a VFX shot because they're. Rotoing out the ramps the cars are hitting. Like it's a real explosion, but then the. Uh... Looks like the base of the explosion is fake. Yeah. Because I think they're like reworking it to paint out the ramps. Was he winking at the camera or the ladies? <laughs> the ladies. Ladies. The ladies. I mean, you can see the ladies in his glasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. You literally see the ladies in the reflection of his. And the Wait. reflection is actually tracked onto his that's, glasses. That's visual effects. We just discovered a hidden <laughs> secret visual effects shot. Yeah, Look. you see how they're, the people are moving you're with right. his glasses yeah, yeah. as opposed to like... <laughs> I was asking that question as a joke, but you're totally right. They literally tracked the ladies into the reflection. But see, they should be in one spot and his glasses reveal them. Yeah. And then when he moves away, they stay in place as it wipes away. But in the shot here, the ladies actually move with his glasses. It's like he has bifocals. That means he has eyes only for these ladies. No matter where he looks, <laughs> yes, yes, it's yes, ladies. Yes, I had no idea until just now. I don't think, I, I think it's a detail of the shot that no one noticed. Ambala. Ambala, bravo. Yes. Bravo. Fun fact, I, I was born in Ambala. I live in Ambala. If you guys Probably not the Ambala they, they are talking about the movie. Like, probably not the Ambala they are talking about in the movie. You know, okay. If you have any sort of Bollywood scenes that feature a dude cooler than this, I will not believe you, but maybe leave it in the comments down below. Hey guys, Jake here. You might know me as the producer around here, and uh, well, I am here to talk to you about today's sponsor, Raycon. I wanted to speak to you honestly today because most people don't understand exactly how hard it is for me to do my job here. For example, I'm supposed to be telling you about these earbuds, and all I really want to do is go get a glass of water. Unfortunately for me, I can't go out there because it's like a Bollywood action scene. <laughs> People are jumping all over each other, there's bullets flying everywhere. Normally that would drive me insane, but courtesy of these little earbuds right here, when I put them in, it's like I'm the only one in the room. Let me show you what I mean. What's gonna happen? <laughs> The first thing you need to know about Raycon earbuds is that they start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbud on the market. He looked dead inside. And guess what? They sound just as amazing. That's right. Their E25 is one of their best models yet, with over six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a beautiful compact design with a nice noise isolating fit. They also come in new fun colors. Now I don't know about you, but if you're interested in finding and obtaining inner peace, Consider clicking the link in the description below and you'll get 15% off your first order. Come on, Ren! Dang it! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe because we got some cool stuff coming out next week. Oh. We experimented with long. That was it, guys. That was my VFX artist react to Bollywood Bad and Great CGI number 12. 
Now I'm actually a beginner in VFX. I've just started After Effects, I live in 3D and Blender. So these are the professionals and they tell how, how the stuff is done. And their channel actually is very, very cool. I will leave the link in the description. Like they do short movies, CGI movies, a lot of cool stuff. Their Potion dy Dynamics uh, video is actually great. You should go check that out. Uh, while you are here, you should you know drop a comment in this video. Give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.